Like a mirage in the desert, the cities of the United Arab Emirates rise, symbolizing the richness of the country and its people. Come with us on an exciting journey as we discover the history of the United Arab Emirates, its people, and its culture. The present-day United Arab Emirates is located on a crossroad of civilizations. From centuries past, here is its story, human habitats dating back to 5000 to 3100 BCE were found in the areas around the Gulf region of the Arabian Peninsula. These settlements were proven to be linked to the early Mesopotamian civilization. The humans that inhabited the region prospered and eventually reached a period wherein they were able to produce bronze and iron tools. Civilizations that were present at this time included the Umm al-Nar culture, which existed around 2600 to 2000 BCE. Evidence shows that they were even able to trade with the Sumerian and Akkadian kingdoms. Another civilization was the Wadi Souk culture that established key trading ports around the Gulf. They dominated the region from 2000 to 1300 BCE. From 1200 BC to 300 BC, the area was occupied by the Achaemenid dynasty of Persia and other early powers. The presence of ancient fortifications is proof of this. One great development during this period was the Falaj irrigation system. During the years of 300 BC and beyond, large settlements and cities started appearing, including one in Malaya. There were also tombs of astounding sizes. However, the local population continued to maintain a semi-nomadic lifestyle. In 200 BC, the Kingdom of Oman was first mentioned. It encompassed much of the modern-day United Arab Emirates and the northern regions of Oman. In 632, envoys from the new religion of Islam arrived in the Gulf areas and heralded the conversion of many of the inhabitants there to the said religion. The region was assimilated into the Islamic Empire and became a valuable trading outpost due to its pearling industry. The pearling industry would also be the bane of the regions in the coastal areas of Eastern Arabia. The Portuguese Empire, seeing how lucrative the industry was, sought to take control of it. They pretty much took over the taxation of the region, collected by the Sultan of Hormuz between 1523 to 1622, well up to the 1820s. The arrival of British ships ushered in a new period for the region. The al Qasimi tribe, one of the dominant tribes in the Gulf area, came into conflict with the British and were called pirates by the latter. Following years of piracy, the British sent troops to battle the al Qasimi and stopped them once and for all, culminating in the Persian Gulf Campaign of 1809. A treaty was signed between the British and Husan bin Rahma, leader of the al Qasimi. But this didn't last long. Another expedition would take place in 1819, where the British rampaged all over the coastal regions. A peace treaty would be signed a year later, called the General Maritime Treaty of 1820. This gave way to the Trucial States. Oil was discovered in the 1960s in the region of Abu Dhabi. This was immediately followed by the calls of all the different sheikhs in the coastal regions to unify as one country. In 1966, the British began to withdraw from the country, and finally the United Arab Emirates was slowly on a path towards independence. According to the World Bank, the United Arab Emirates GDP is valued at around $507 billion. It is the fourth largest economy in the Middle East. Much like Saudi Arabia, it is historically an oil-driven economy. It is heavily reliant on revenues from petroleum and natural gas, especially those coming from Abu Dhabi. Aside from the oil industry, tourism is the next biggest industry for the country. This was due in part to a diversification scheme for the economy of the country to be able to catch up with its neighboring countries. 
The country has little to no agricultural industry due in part to the geography of the region. However, domesticated animals provide a large share of the agri-industry products. Some agricultural products include dates, cucumbers, gherkins, camel milk, goat milk, tomatoes, eggs, goat meat, milk, chicken, and camel meat. Additionally, there also exists aquaculture in the region due to its proximity to the Persian Gulf. But this was surpassed in importance by the discovery of oil. Aquaculture includes fishing and pearling. The flag of the United Arab Emirates was first used on December 2, 1971. It has four different stripes, one vertical and three horizontal. The vertical stripe is colored red, while the three horizontal stripes have the color green, white, and black, respectively. They form a sort of letter E. The colors are said to be the Pan-Arab colors, showing Arab unity. It was designed by a boy named Abdullah Mohammed Al-Ma'ina. The capital city of the United Arab Emirates is Abu Dhabi, and the country has a total land area of about 84,000 square kilometers, or 32,000 square miles. It is bordered by Oman and Saudi Arabia. The borders of the country continue to be a matter of dispute up to this day. The entire country is situated nearly entirely within the Arabian Desert, which dictates its climate and weather patterns. There are no natural occurring bodies of water in the region except the seasonal wadis that drain from the mountains. There are only two main seasons in the country, owing to its geography. Winter and Summer during the winter seasons, the temperature ranges from 16 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius, or 61 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. During the summer seasons, it can get extremely hot, ranging from 32 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, or 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can go as high as 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The United Arab Emirates has a total population of around 10 million inhabitants, yet only about one-ninth of the residents are citizens. The rest are foreign workers and their dependents. Many come from all over Asia, but a majority are Indians and Southeast Asians. A sizable population of Filipinos have also moved to the region for work. The official language of the UAE is Arabic. However, due to the large number of foreign workers, there also exists other languages such as Pashto, Hindi, Balochi, and Persian. English is widely spoken too. About 75% of the population are Muslim, while 13% are Christian, 6% are Hindu, 3% are Buddhist, and 1% are agnostic. Let's talk about some dishes from the UAE that you may find delectable and appetizing. Here are a select few fares from the country's cuisine to sate your appetite. To start off your day, it might be best to have a balali. It's a breakfast dish that's sweet and salty, made from omelet and vermicelli. Sugar, cinnamon, saffron, cardamom, orange blossom, or rosé water are added for flavor. Spices can be added too. Or maybe you can have some chabab bread, the Emirati version of a pancake. Made from flour, egg, melted butter, and yeast, it tastes just like your usual American pancake. For lunch, how about some haris? However, do note that this is also eaten during ceremonies and gatherings. Harith is a wheat porridge with meat and ghee. The wheat must be cooked for three hours in salted water until it fluffs up. That will take about three hours. Then the meat is added to the mix and heated to form a thick porridge. Not to your liking? If you're a seafood lover, maybe try Samak Mashwi, the Emirati answer to grilled fish. Traditionally, Samak Mashwi is cooked in a dome like barbecue made of clay. What makes it unique is the use of date paste as a marinade 
that makes the taste extremely different from other grilled fish. Which one of these dishes would you want to try out? The United Arab Emirates is also home to a number of prominent figures who have contributed to their country and even the world in their own ways. Here are some famous people from the Emirates, some of whom you may know. First off, we have Nora al Matrushi, an Emirati engineer. She is considered the first Arab woman to graduate from the NASA astronaut program. Next up, we have Lubna Khalid al Qasimi, the president of Zayed University. She is also a politician and is known for being niece of Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed al Qasimi. And lastly, we have Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, the second president of the United Arab Emirates and the current ruler of Abu Dhabi. If you enjoyed this video on the United Arab Emirates, you'll love this next one.